Hi guys! I am back with a new unboxing from Louis Vuitton. Those who have been following me for a while probably know that I recently went to America um, and I did buy a new Louis Vuitton bag overseas that I'm going to unbox for you now. If you don't already follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I'll leave the links in the description bar below. I post daily content Instagram video about fashion, bags, shoes, outfits, travel, lifestyle, beauty stuff. Um, so if you enjoy that, make sure you follow along. And if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click subscribe because I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. But without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. So this here is my brand new Louis Vuitton bag that I'm about to unbox in a second but first I want to give you a really quick story time about how I ended up with this bag and why I picked this bag. So basically I was in LA on Rodeo Drive and if you are like part of the fashion community and like know the history of fashion like Rodeo Drive is like an iconic fashion um location I guess like every single brand you can think of is on Rodeo Drive and there's just like a lot of history. Basically I was walking into every single store on Rodeo Drive. They have Chanel, Cartier, Van Cleef, Arpels, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Bottega Veneta, Celine. I was looking at every different type of bag. I'll insert some photos of some of the bags I was looking at and nothing was really screaming at me like I was like nothing made my heart pound that I was like I need to have this bag and I only really like to buy bags where I have that initial gut reaction of like oh my god I need this bag because I feel like love for bags kind of like deteriorates over time so if you already like don't love a bag when you first buy it then in like a year two years five years ten years and you're gonna love it already even less than when you first bought it so you want to love a bag like the most when you first buy it and so I wasn't finding anything that was like screaming at me so I was thinking like oh maybe I'm not gonna get a bag but I really wanted to get because I like to get bags of souvenirs when I travel and then I ended up going to Louis Vuitton and there was actually one new bag I think it's called the Diane bag or the Diana I think it's the Diane I'll insert some photos um that I tried on and that I did really like and this is actually a re-release of like an, a, a traditional vintage LV bag I'll insert photos of the old one versus the new one essentially the difference is that the new one has like a fabric strap instead of like a long vachetta leather strap and anyway, so I tried on that and I almost ended up buying that one until I saw this one being carried by another sales associate um not the one that was dealing with me and I was like oh my god like I've actually been thinking about buying this bag for years and years and years but I just like never have I've never really seen it in store because the stock is so hard to find of this particular bag so I've never even really tried it on in person and I was like oh do you have another one and then they got me one I tried it on and I was like okay this is the bag so it kind of just happened to be sheer luck I was fully prepared to get the Diane bag until this one fell into my lap if you are a fan of Louis Vuitton and you know which of their styles are really hard to come by and you know which ones I already have and which ones I don't own it's probably really easy to guess what this is but let me show you I got the Louis Vuitton mini palm spring backpack um, just in like the traditional monogram leather and this is the mini palm springs not the big palm springs so this bag actually comes in two sizes there's a full size backpack that has like instead of these thin straps it has like thicker straps and it's like a big full size backpack and then this is the mini size I love this bag I've loved this bag since it came out I've just never really been able to try it on because it's so hard to get and there's like wait lists all over Australia I feel like Australia is one of the worst places to buy designer items one the pricing is crazy two stock availability is so hard to get um so when I found this in America and they just like had it in store I was like oh like this is amazing like you can't go into any Louis Vuitton in Australia like Sydney Melbourne Brisbane Perth anywhere and like have this sitting in store like they're always pre-sold and you have to get on a wait list and anytime it comes in the store it like leaves the same day with a client in Australia if you want this bag you kind of have to like pre-commit to it and like put down a deposit or even like pre-pay the full amount of the bag and wait for it to come in um which I don't love like I always love to try on my bags first and like see them in person first before I commit to them so I was really stoked in America I had the chance to actually try it on look at it in store put some stuff in it see if it fits like the kind of stuff that I like to put in my bags every day um before I bought it and it actually even though it's called a mini size it actually fits a lot and I'm gonna go into all the things that it fits some of the key features of this bag is that it's got a main one zip compartment and the zipper here, I don't know if you'll be able to see, the zipper has a little LV sort of logo on it. Um, it's just got one main zipper compartment and in the back it's got like one little uh, like flap compartment but there's no button, no zip for that. That all opens up like that. And in the front there is this other little zip compartment. I don't know what you would fit in here though other than maybe like some receipts or some cards or like a key 
so that sits here and that does go all the way to the bottom here um but it's not very convenient to open um really hard to because it's got this like little leather tab or the monogram canvas tab covering it a little top handle which is made out of full leather not canvas um and this is cute because you can like hold the bag like this um and hand hold it although it is a bit of like a weird design shape to like wear handheld but you always have that option um and then on the back it has these four little grommets you have two up the top here and two in the bottom here and these two straps that are fully detachable so i'll show you so you can take these off and you can connect them to any of the four that you want so one of my favorite things about this bag is all the different ways that you can wear it so you can see i just took this one from off here and added that here um, and this makes the bag really versatile. Something else I love about these straps is that they're fully length adjustable. So you can see along each of the straps, there are all of these little punch holes. So you can make them shorter or longer. At the moment, I have them on the complete shortest length. And I'm going to show you all the different ways you go out this bag. Obviously, you can put the straps completely on the back like this, one on each side. And then you can just wear it as a backpack. This is what that looks like. It is a little bit long. Like, I would say that it just grazes the top of my bum. Um, but I think that looks super cute for music festivals, for hiking. How I've been wearing the bag the most is just by holding these two straps together, slinging it over my shoulder and wearing it as sort of like a side backpack like that. That's what that looks like. I think that's really cute, really casual, also really convenient because when I need anything, I can just go like that and take it off. Other things I've seen people do are move the straps around so you can do this. This is one of the more popular ways that I've seen people wear this bag where you completely detach one of the straps and then connect one of the straps to the top two and then wear it crossbody like this. And then you have a cute little crossbody bag here. It's a little bit high because I have it on the shortest length. But if I adjust these little buttons here to make it longer, you can make the bag sit more like this. There you go. So now I've put these in the longest straps and when I put it crossbody, you can see it sits much lower. Before it was sitting maybe a bit like here, and now it's all the way down here. That's perfect crossbody length. And this is one of the most popular way I see people wear this bag because it just works like a complete crossbody bag. And this strap also works just on the shoulder. So same as crossbody, you can just do it completely on the shoulder like that. I've also seen people connect one strap to the top hand corner and the bottom hand corner and then make it a little bit shorter and then once you make it shorter you can work crossbody again but it gives a completely different look i love that it's unisex so i see a lot of guys wear it like this and then it's almost like one of those like like those prada saffiano like across the front bags and the last most popular way that i see people wear it is just with all the straps attached and just holding it like this and letting the straps hang and this actually looks really cute when you do like a full body shot and people are just like holding it at the bottom of their outfit i'll insert some photos here so as you can see one of my favorite things about this bag is just how versatile it is and all the different ways you can wear it the fact that it's the classic monogram print um and lv's really durable canvas so this unlike leather when you scratch it doesn't leave any scars no marks so it's one of their more durable fabrics um, I really love that you can wear this in the rain and it's not going to damage or get like color um, color stains from the rain. So this makes for an incredible travel bag. One of the other main reasons I got this is because if you've watched a bunch of my videos, which I advise that you subscribe and watch all the other videos that I have because I do a lot of bag videos and fashion videos in general. Um, I don't own a single bag in this kind of silhouette. I don't own anything that's like in a backpack shape or that functions the same way as a backpack. So this is a very unique style in my collection and like adds a lot of different versatility which I love because I hate kind of buying bags that like all look the same or like serve the same purpose in my collection. I want all the bags in my collection to have a distinct sort of purpose. Like one has to be like an evening bag. One is really good for like a crossbody travel bag. One might be really good as like a tote bag. When it comes to what fits inside this bag, it genuinely fits so much more than you would think for like a mini bag. So I'm going to show you a couple of everyday items that I probably carry with me that fit in this bag really easily. So the first thing I have is my Chanel O case. This is like my everyday wallet. You can see that it's pretty thick inside it i have a whole bunch of cards like i reckon i have 15 maybe 20 cards and i also have my keys that i keep just like on the side so this chanel o case is a lot thicker than like your average i guess card case um this fits 
perfectly inside like that. And you can see like, no, didn't have to squeeze to get it in. It just popped right in. Next up, I have hand sanitizer. This is like a larger bottle than I think some people's. Um, this also just falls right in, lots of space. Next, I have my AirPod Pros. These fit lots of space still. I have a lip balm. Obviously that just falls right in. I have two mini Hermes perfumes that I like to keep just in their case, but you can also take the case out and just use the bottle, but I get worried that the bottle might like spill. So I always just keep them in their little case. These fit perfectly. As you can see, we're still like, I haven't even used half of the space yet. Um, and the bag in terms of weight is like not that heavy because it's canvas. It's a lot lighter than leather. So even as you put things in, it doesn't get too heavy too quickly. I've got car keys and then a mask. So obviously that's this that's the stuff that I genuinely just transferred from the purse that I'm using right now. That's the stuff that I carry every day. If you zip that up, that zip really easily. It's like not nothing is like touching the top. Lots of space. Now I've emptied it. So you can see that's empty again. Um, and I just want to show you that even sunglasses fit. So this is actually, um, I would say like a bigger than usual sunglasses case. These are my Chanel sunnies. If you're somebody that always needs to have sunglasses, um, it does fit in the case. Like you see, it's a bit of a weird, like trapezoid shape, these sunglasses. Um, but this fits all the way in like this and sits conveniently against the back. Didn't have to squeeze it to get it in, didn't have to like bend the shape, didn't have to take it out of the case. And if I did take it out of the case and I'd have even more space in the bag, it just fits perfectly. And then everything else that I had, like my wallet, still fits easy. And I'm filming on my phone, so obviously I can't show you, but usually my phone fits in this bag really easily too. So as you can see, it actually fits quite a bit. In terms of durability and wear, as I mentioned, this is Louis Vuitton's like classic monogram canvas. So it's scratch proof, it's waterproof. I personally have never seen an issue with Louis Vuitton monogram canvas having color transfer issues, whether it's with like brand new dark wash jeans um, or like any darker color fabric. So this I think is a really good workhorse bag if you just want to be a little bit rougher with it not have to baby it it's definitely much more durable than like a lambskin i would say it's even more durable than like a pebbled caviar leather because it is canvas it's a lot harder to like scratch like sometimes even though pebbled caviar leather is considered like the most durable leather if you grab like keys or you have like nails on and you accidentally scratch it or if you like accidentally brush it against like a brick wall sometimes you'll get like little scuffs and sometimes the pebbles will like lift off and then you get like little white dots on the bag but with Louis Vuitton's canvas like that doesn't happen like you can be really rough against this and completely scratch your nails and there's no lines like I've yeah so basically my favorite things about this are how versatile and wearable it is and how durable it is I do plan for this to be like my new go-to travel bag. I've never really had a travel bag that could fit my phone, my wallet, my sunglasses, and like a water bottle. Usually when I go traveling, I always have to hold a water bottle and after time that just gets a little bit annoying. Or I find I end up using a lot of plastic water bottles because I don't want to carry them. So I'll just like buy water all day, drink it, and then bin it. And that's obviously not very sustainable. So it's going to be a lot better that I can fit like a little mini drink bottle in here and keep it for the whole day. That is my little unboxing and really quick review. If you guys have any specific questions about this bag, please drop them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a little while since I uploaded here, um, but please subscribe if you haven't already done that. I would really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And check me out on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't already. I am Vivi in Vogue and I'll see you guys for a new video soon. Thanks.